everyone, I've just had dinner with two superstars. One Where? is Billy Dora <laughs> from Vale 8 TV here in Vale. And I love watching you every oh, morning. Oh, you're very sweet. Well, in the, on the weekends. And he said hello to me the other day. <laughs> and I'm here with Jess, who is the number one Paralympian skier for Slalom and just won these medals yesterday. Slalom and what other yes. event, Megan? Slalom and what was the other Giant one? Slalom. Giant Slalom. Slalom? Slalom. Slalom. <laughs> Are you adapting for America? <laughs> no, Jess is an Aussie, slalom. everyone. <laughs> slalom. How cool are these awards? Tell slalom. us about, tell us about. So these, are with World Cups, they usually have, uh, each host country will have, make it special. So these are actually horseshoes from Colorado. So obviously cowboys over here. So we've got some, so cool. I didn't quite get enough for a full set though. I only have a three-legged horse, not a four. <laughs> so she is ranked number one in the world. <laughs> So when the Paralympics come up next in March, in March, yeah. in next <laughs> March, March. <laughs> you'll have to watch and barrack for her because this is so exciting. So how are you feeling? Are you nervous? Do you think you're going to, how do you feel? Um, oh, I think because we're still here and we haven't headed over to Russia yet, you know, it's just kind of getting through each day. But once we hit Europe, it'll be really exciting. And it's always exciting going to games and representing Australia. So. Absolutely. And you know what's even more amazing about Jess, everyone? She is the first woman in the world to ever participate in two Olympics, like the Summer not and the Winter Olympics. Go <laughs> with it, just go with it. Yeah. In the world, aren't not, you? No, not the world. There's, a, there's about four in of the us. In the Commonwealth? What are we saying? In Australia? <laughs> in Australia, so I was the first Australian woman to win a, uh, to compete in a Summer and a Winter Paralympics. So she does um, long jump, everyone, in the Summer. <laughs> That's then, crazy. What yeah. do you like better? Uh, I, I love both of them, but I think winter I love skiing, the adrenaline rush of going fast and yeah. down the mountain. and It's the lifestyle as well, you get to travel the world and visit amazing it's places amazing. like Vale. And it's Is a it lot different of fun. training? Do you train like... Hang on a second, I hang thought, on a second. I, I thought it was... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Snake, you like the adrenaline rush, don't you? <laughs> oh, I love it. Love it. Come Zoe? Back to us. Come back to us. So is the training different? I want to know. Like, it's do you train? Different. Is that what do you do for both? Yeah, so it's really different. Um, with like track and field and long jump, I it takes me four seconds to do a long jump, whereas a ski race course yes. is a minute to a minute and a half. So the strengths and the, the so it's more weights for a, a lot more weights, but a lot more endurance for skiing as well. So yeah. it's more being able to maintain power for a long period of time. Uh, and then with the ski racing being vision impaired, which I am. Yeah. I ski with a guide, whereas in long jump I, I do it by myself. So there's, they're pretty different and the training is very, very different. So tell these guys, Paralympics is like just for different... Disabilities. Disabilities. And, yep. and we're having dinner with Jess and of course she can see us across the table, but tell them what, what it means to you to be, uh, you know, what it means to be vision impaired. Yeah, so I have a, a rare eye disease, which means that I only have 8% vision, so I'm legally blind. Uh, but the disease that I have only affects my central vision, so I can walk around independently and most people yeah. don't realise that I am legally never blind. Know. No, you would never But know. when I'm reading books or trying to look at my phone, then that's when I have trouble and so usually it's up here on my face. So, tonight I learned that when Jess skis, um, she has a guy who skis with her. Tell them about that when you're racing because that's fascinating to me. Yeah, so we have um, headsets inside our helmet. We have little earpieces and a little microphone in front of our mouth so that we can communicate to each other as we're going down the slopes. And it's almost like pair figure skating, isn't it? Because it's got to be so in sync. <laughs> yeah. Do you think? Because like, I love figure skating. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, no, really? the relationship size, has to be really, um, yeah. Hang on a really, second. really crucial. Do you think Megan's making stuff up there? <laughs> I'm not making stuff up. This is how I see it. <laughs> yeah. So you have to be able to try like I need to be able to trust my guide 100%. And yeah. The speeds that we go at, when he says something, I need to be able to react straight away because it's obviously a race, so we want to get down fast. Do you ever else? not react? Like, what if he says something and you're thinking in your head, oh, I don't want to do that? Do you ever not do that? Uh, on a race you? course, no. You can't. You can't question but in your training, guide. Yes. Didn't we see the video for that earlier? We <laughs> saw it. Saw it. Crash. Is that yeah. what happens? Would you crash if you didn't do what he said because he's anticipating something different? Sometimes, yeah, but usually the times when I don't listen is when we're on the side of the course and he might run into the bushes to use the bathroom or say <laughs> something. What do you know, boys do? That's so not fair. <laughs> <laughs> so unfair. You, you learn a lot about your guide when you have headsets and you forget that they're on. So. <laughs> so you're hearing too much is what you're saying. Too much, too much. <laughs> so Billy, what's happening with you on Vale A TV? I got medals. You got medals. <laughs> Just Billy, battles. when you wake up in the morning, everyone turns on the TV on Channel 8 and we all watch Billy on the weekends. Otherwise, we just don't watch Just the it. lucky ones, not everyone. We love it. Where's that light gone on Billy? Look, pulls, the, pulls out the cameraman. Like, like, He's making us look like Halloween, everyone. So, 
this is our exciting night tonight. I wanted to share these two with you. And they're also going to be on my Jumchi community page. So check them out. And you'll be able to find all their links and everything to see lots of different stuff about them. Bye, everybody. Bye. What do you say about that, Zoe? <laughs> and Snake? Hang on. <laughs> and Paul? Oh, yes, everybody. Okay, you're on. We finished the video and we're chatting outside. This is this is the bloopers. <laughs> no, it's not even the bloopers. This is the And best I part. just <laughs> asked Jess what star sign she was and she said Pisces. And then tell them what you just told me. Uh, I'm actually racing my uh, my pet event slalom in Russia on my birthday. So, and I won my Paralympic medal in Vancouver four years ago on my birthday. So, it's a sign, everyone. <laughs> Don't you think? Do you feel think so. lucky? Yeah. I will. I wasn't supposed to be racing on my birthday in Vancouver, but they changed the schedule, and so when they did that, and I heard about it, I just knew something special was going to happen. Yes. And, going to happen again hopefully and the, the Paralympics get televised as much do they yes so the ABC I think I'm not sure if it's been officially announced yet yeah. but the ABC will be broadcasting it and so. what what and date, what date is yours uh the 14th of March which is my birthday and the 16th so. I'll be home in Australia <laughs> cheering you on I can't wait yeah and it's all broadcast online as well so if you don't have tv and everything it's all online let's do a high five to you all winning. right Woo! <laughs> <laughs> good luck <laughs>